Mackinac Bridge, also known as the Mighty Mac, is a 75-year dream turned into a reality for a state divided by water. For years, ferries traveled across the Mackinac Straits between the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan. However, these ferries could not operate in the winter months on frozen waterways. Demand for a more suitable option was increasing. In 1950, almost 75 years after the thought of building a bridge, the Mackinac Bridge Authority was formed. Within a few years, a $99.8 million bridge project was underway. During its construction, from 1954 to 1957, a total of about 11,350 people were employed by the project. Only five men perished during the construction of the bridge. After three and a half years of seasonal work, the Mackinac Bridge was opened to the public November 1st, 1957. At that time, it was the longest suspension bridge with two towers in the world at 8,614 feet in length. The total length of the bridge is about five miles. Today, it is still the longest suspension bridge with two anchorages in the Western Hemisphere. Yearly, the bridge sees over four million vehicles. Foot traffic is not allowed on the bridge. However, the annual Mackinac Bridge Walk is an exception and a tradition from its first year. Each Labor Day, two lanes of the bridge are shut down and 50 to 80,000 people walk across the bridge led by the governor of Michigan. It is a great opportunity to view the 552 foot tall towers and take in a view from the suspension deck some 200 feet above the water. A look down will reveal an open metal grating below you designed to reduce lift. Whether you walk on it or drive on it, visiting this iconic landmark in northern Michigan is more than just another bridge. It is a useful, convenient, and beautiful piece of American engineering. Join me on a trip home as I cross the wonderful Mackinac Bridge.